Hello. Today I'm reading from Sources for America's History, edited by Kevin Sheets, Volume 1. This is Enslaved Blacks Adopt the Cause of Liberty by Prince Hall. John Adams observed that the revolution had loosened the bonds of government everywhere. A clear case of this expanding democratic spirit came from his home state, where enslaved Africans petitioned first the colonial government in 1773, and then the state legislature in January 1777, asking for their freedom. Not until 1783, by a judicial ruling, did enslaved persons in Massachusetts win their freedom when the state's Supreme Judicial Court interpreted the 1780 state constitution as guaranteeing all men the right to enjoy their life and liberty. Prince Hall, 1735 through 1807, born a slave but freed by 1770, drafted the petition at the behest of a great number of blacks. <clears throat> to the Honorable Council and House of Representatives for the State of Massachusetts Bay, in General Court, assembled January 13, 1777. The petition of a great number of blacks detained in a state of slavery in the bowels of a free and Christian country humbly so showeth that your petitioners apprehended that they have in common with all other men a natural and inalienable right to that freedom which the great parent of the Bonavers hath bestowed equally on all mankind and which they have never fortuned by any compact or agreement whatever but they were unjustly dragged by the hand of a cruel power from their dearest friends, and some of them even torn from the embraces of their tender parents. From a populous, pleasant, and plentiful country, and in violation of the laws of nature and of nations, and in defiance of all the tender feelings of humanity, brought here either to be sold like beasts of burden, and like them condemned to slavery for life, among a people professing the mild religion of Jesus, a people not insensible of the secrets of rational being, nor without spirit to resent the unjust endeavors of others to reduce them to a state of bondage and subjection. Your honor need not to be informed that a life of slavery like that of your petitioners, deprived of every social privilege, of everything requisite to render life tolerable is far worse than non-existence. In imitation of the laudable example of the good people of these states, your petitioners have long and patiently waited the event of petition after petition by them presented to the legislative body of this state and cannot but with great reflect, grief reflect that their success hath been but too similar, they cannot be, they cannot but express their astonishment that it has never been considered that every principal form which America has acted in the course of their unhappy difficulties, Great Britain pleads stronger than a thousand arguments in favor of your petitioners. They therefore humbly beseech your honors to give this petition its due weight and consideration, and cause an act of the legislature to be passed whereby they may be restored to the enjoyments of that which is the natural right of all men, and their children who were born in this land of liberty may not be held as slaves after they arrive at the age of twenty-one years, so may the inhabitants of this state no longer chargeable with the inconsistency of acting themselves the part which they condemn and oppose in others, be prospered in their glorious struggle for liberty and have those blessings to them.